Hello everyone, welcome back. Crosstown Gamer here, and we're going to be continuing, or I guess starting, um, officially starting, Cuba Libre. Uh, so in the last video we went over kind of the groundwork here, a lot of the rules and setup. And just to remind everyone, I am going to be playing this as a solo game. We are going to be using the bots, um, so the non-player fl flowcharts there for everyone. And I am going to be playing as the 26th July, so the red forces down here. Okay, let's get going. So turn one. Uh, first card that came out is going to be La Ra La Ball. Um, I'm going to butcher up probably a lot of these pronunciations, and so I really apologize to anyone <laughs> out there. That would be... Hopefully I don't offend anyone. So... Uh, La Razza Ball is the first card, and then up on deck here is going to be Guantanamo Bay. So we can see that we're first in the initiative order here, followed by the government, syndicate, and then directorio. Let's see what this card actually says. Uh, place a 26 July base where there is a 26 July piece. Okay, so um, typically the lighter shaded, the unshaded portion of the card is going to be more beneficial to us. And then the shaded one is going to be more beneficial to government and or syndicate. So uh, this is pretty pretty good card because it allows us to just place a base uh, right off the bat. And we already have a base in Sierra Maestra. Um, but we don't have any other bases on the map. And in fact, up here in La Habana province, we do have an underground gorilla. So that does satisfy the uh, condition of the card. So it might be worth doing that because usually in order to place a base, you're going to need to have at least two uh, other f of your gorillas available there. Um, and then what would happen is, so see if I did the rally action, and apologies, my dog is in here, and so hopefully she doesn't start messing with stuff. Um, on the rally action... We can see that uh, we can place a base um, by replacing two of our gorillas with it. So we would normally need to have two gorillas to place a base. So I think this is a pretty good card for us to kind of extend into this western half of the island here. Um, and we do have a another piece there to protect it. So that will allow us to rally more troops there more quickly and spread across the map. So I think this is a good call for us. One second. So as I mentioned, I think this is a pretty good card for us. Um, and the only other consideration we have here is going to be if Guantanamo Bay is going to be worth waiting for. Um, so if we if we passed and took this card instead, we we would get a special power for the rest of the game, which would be that we may kidnap in Sierra Maestra as though it were a city. Um, so kidnap is one of the special abilities. I think it's a really good one for the 26th July. Um, but... I don't know, though, because the if we were to pass, the government would be up, and then they would get to remove a uh, 26 July base, and um, we would lose out on three resources as well. So, honestly, that's pretty bad at the start, so I think we do take this event, and then we will be missing out on the um, insurgent capability there. But the good news is the government player is going to be up next, and likely they're going to go and do a, a, a operations, um, which means they won't be the ones to do this Guantanamo Bay action. Um, so I think we're safe there. So let's go ahead and get started and actually do this. So we'll get to place a 26th July base where there's a 26th July piece. So we'll come over here, we'll take a base, and we will put it in La Habana. So uh, here... That did change our victory marker here, because we did put a base out, and uh, opposition plus bases is what we're doing, so we'll go from seven to eight. Um, that's how we're going to win. <clears throat> and so now I'll move my marker here down to the event to say I've done the event. Okay, so now government player is second eligible. So let's come over here to the flowchart for them <clears throat> and see what they end up doing. So they're not going to play the event because I played the event, but if they're, um, so 
this this part's going to be meaningless for them. So uh, we'll start up here in the upper left and see where it takes us. <clears throat> Is there a government base or a city that lacks government control, troops, or police? Well, I think the answer is no to that because uh, they don't have any bases on the board yet. So, and uh, no cities of theirs lack control. So, uh, Havana has government control. Camagüey has government control. Santiago de Cuba has government control. So, um, so I think we're at a no there. Is there a 26 July and a directorio at an economic center underground? or in a place where they're going to exceed the number of cubes uh, that are uh, that the government has. And I don't think that's true either. We're not in any economic centers. Um, and like Santiago de Cuba, for example, um, the cubes exceed the 26 July pieces. So um, that's a no there. Assault and special activity would add government control or remove base or three plus guerrillas. Let's take a look at their assault special ability or assault plus special ability. Um, so their actual thing, they can assault in any space and they can only remove active guerrillas or bases for each um, troops that are there. So the only spaces with troops are Santiago de Cuba Camagüey, Las Villas, and Havana. Um, but none of those places have active gorillas there. Um, so remember, to be an active gorilla, then it needs to be flipped up to its embossed side. So this is underground. So that's a, the, a no there. They wouldn't be able to. They wouldn't be able to do an assault. And gosh, my dog is driving me nuts. Hold on. Sorry about that. Uh, normally my wife's here and can sort of watch over, but right now the dog is kind of locked in here with me. So um, so we said no to this. So they're going to try to do a sweep action to activate my gorillas and then, or the directorio gorillas, in order to assault next turn or uh, make them more vulnerable. So they are going to sweep and then they're going to airstrike. Now, um, it just so happens that they are going to end up in a space where they can do a special activity, but there's a special rule with the bots where even if they were to do a limited operation, um, anytime they operate, they're going to do a full operation with special activity. That's just kind of like a balancing mechanic for the bots. So they are going to go over here and, and effectively they only really pass if, um, they're out of resources, but it's the start of the game. So they have a ton of those. So for a maximum of nine resources, they're going to try and sweep. So what does sweep look like? Uh, at any cities or provinces, so not economic centers, are, is the um, requirement there. And it'll cost um, two to four resources based on the U.S. Alliance box, which it's the start of the game, so the U.S. Alliance is firm, so it'll only cost them two resources per space, which means they can sweep uh, for a maximum of nine resources meaning four, uh, two goes into nine four times, so they can sweep in potentially four places. Um, and sweeping is kind of special because they can move any troops into adjacent um, selected spaces. So if I select a space on the board, if I were the government player and I selected a, a space, say Camagüey, uh, I could move in um, pieces from adjacent spaces in to, to perform the sweep action. Um, so they are going to do that. So their priorities here is going to be, so they're first going to select spaces to activate underground 26 July or directorial gorillas at places where they have support. So let's look, um, the, this space is active opposition. So no support there, no support there. They have support here, but there's no, um, underground um, gorillas there. They have support in Havana, and that has underground directorio pieces, so they'll go there. Uh-oh, they have um, support here at uh, La Habana as well. 
that's two. And then there's no underground gorillas in Pinar del Rio. So um, that looks like two spaces so far. Um, the next priority is going to be at Havana. And that's, we already put a marker there um, because that satisfied the first condition. And then lastly, it's where there's already cubes. So, um, okay. So there are not already cubes, I think, anywhere. I mean, there are already cubes here, for example. So they could sweep here, but there's no underground gorillas. So that's not really going to do anything. Um, uh, there are already cubes here. So that is another spot for them to sweep. And I think I think I did that right. I mean, there's three there's three spots for a maximum of four spots, but uh, we you know we've already done all of these conditions here. It doesn't look like they're going to um, suppose though if they if they had a a troop here, they would sweep there and then they could pull in. Um, troops from other places using the sweep action. So now the the next thing they're going to do is, without losing control, also move in up to the troops needed to activate all guerrillas uh, uh, able to and add government control. Um, and so if we see in the sweep, it's going to be one guerrilla for each cube, unless it's a forest space, and then it's one guerrilla for every two cubes. Uh, we haven't selected any forest spaces. We've selected a city, another city, and a grasslands. This is grasslands. Um, so uh, everything is going to be kind of a one-to-one. -one. Um, so each each gorilla that we're going to activate uh, is only going to cost one cube of the governments to, to do that. So um, without losing any control... So they have, up here, they have 10 cubes total. So, and there's only three other pieces here. Uh, this is down here. Um, so they have like an excess of seven total pieces uh, that they could move without losing control of that space. Um, they're going to use two troops here um, to activate these two gorillas. So they can really add... So uh, they want to get a troop down here so that they're able to activate my gorilla right there. So they will move in this cube, and they do they can do that because they're not going to lose any control. And um, they are hoping to gain control. So what they would need to do that here, if they're able to, they would need to move in a total of four troops. Um, and if they did that, they would have one, two up here, plus the four pieces there. They would still have control of Havana. So they are going to move in um, all four of these troops in order to um, activate my uh, gorilla there and then also gain control of that space. So they're going to do that. This is going to net them a control marker. Their victory conditions aren't tied to... Um, control it's only total support so that's not going to be a huge deal um continuing along though they don't need to move any troops where they can't i mean there's no other troops to move into this space so they're good here as well so then the last thing we're going to do and i promise this will get faster and a little smoother as we go it's i think the first time we do any of these actions it's going to take a little bit of extra time because we have to decipher this flow chart um so apologies there just bear with me and we'll get through this together. Um, so they've moved in all the troops that they need to. And now they're going to activate first all... Like, suppose they, they weren't able to move enough troops to activate all the gorillas there. Uh, this is the order in which they would activate them. Um, but we are in such a scenario where it's going to be basically... They're going to uh, um, be able to activate all gorillas there. So... First, it's going to be a player at victory. No one's at victory. It's the beginning of the game. Then 26 July and then DR. So um, up in Havana, they are going to activate these two gorillas. So we'll flip those over. 
and uh, we'll take the marker away. And that costs, um, it's two resources per space. So we will move the government marker down two. Uh, we're gonna be doing three spaces, so I might as well do the other one, two, three, four spaces. Uh, or resource, resources. So here they're gonna activate this. We already gave them control of the space, so that's good. And then lastly down here, they're gonna activate our gorilla here. Oh no, they found all of our hiding troops or our forces. Okay, the markers go back. So that's the, that's the sweep action. They've done their turn. They've activated a bunch of guys there. Um, and now what happens, since only two factions are able to act on any given card, um, these now become ineligible. And this card is done. And so now Guantanamo Bay is the next card that gets played. And we will see the card that's on deck now is going to be General Strike. Um, okay. So... Now we move on to turn two. So the first card that, or the card that's being played right now is this. The first eligible faction is the government, but they're ineligible. And followed by us, 26 July, we are also ineligible. So now it goes on to the Directorio. So Directorio, most often they want to play events, but let's just double check to make sure that there aren't any special um, instructions for this. So they're going to play the event unless the second unless they're second eligible and the 26th July is a player, which it, it is. I'm a player, so uh, or the event's ineffective. So what is the uh, there's a list of events down here that they may or may not um, have special instructions for each event. So we do see that Guantanamo Bay is listed here and they're going to choose an ops and special activity instead of playing the event. So they're going to come over here because uh, I think the idea is they don't want to give us, um, well, they certainly don't want to give the government a momentum, a an, an ability that lasts until the propaganda round this early because uh, they don't want to help out the government at all. And moreover, they don't want to just hand us this special power for the rest of the game. So they're going to do an ops and special activity instead. <clears throat> so let's go over here and find out what they do. So uh, Directorio can terror inactive space or assassinate a government base. Well, uh, there are no government bases, so they can't assassinate a government base. Let's see if they can terror in an active space. What are the requirements for terror? Um, any spaces... <clears throat> Sorry, any spaces with underground gorillas. And uh, they do have underground gorillas in Camagüey, and that's it. So let's see. Um, terror in active space. Uh, I believe that means active opposition or active support. And this is only uh, passive opposition. So unfortunately, that's not going to or fortunately, I don't know, it's not really here nor there. Um, this is going to be a no. Do they have six plus gorillas available? Or a rally would place a base? Well, yes, they have tons of available forces. So they are going to rally. In neutral or passive spaces, um, they are going to rally first uh, gorillas to underground in all spaces with active DR gorillas. Then... Uh, anywhere there's a base, and lastly, anywhere there's a cube. Let's look at the requirements for rallying for them. So for rally, they can do any neutral or passive provinces or cities, and it's one uh, resource per space selected. So they only have, uh, it said the first the priority here is going to be gorillas to underground in all spaces with active gorillas. They have active gorillas up here, but this is active support, and the requirement for rally says you have to have passive or neutral. Um, so they're not gonna be able to rally there. Then uh, it says to rally at places where there's a base. Uh, there aren't any directorial bases on the on the map yet. Uh, so that's a no. And then lastly, where there's a cube. Um, 
there are cubes all over. So, well, there's some in Las Villas. There's some in, and that's a neutral spot. There's some in uh, La Habana province. And uh, in Camagüey as well. So, place bases where there are at least, yeah. So just wherever there are cubes, that's what they're going to do. And there's a maximum, I just want to make sure I'm not going to run them completely ragged on resources. It doesn't look like there's a maximum there. Let me just double check really quick in the rules. Okay, so they can do it as many times as they want. But I did just remember uh, when we were acting as the government last time, we did the operation, but we never did the special activity. So uh, since we haven't actually changed the map, the board state here, let's go back and do that for them. Sorry, sorry for that. So they did a sweep. So then they're going to do an airstrike. Uh, they're going to airstrike versus an active pace, uh, sp active piece. First, they want to remove a base or close uh, a casino. They can't because um, it has to be the airstrike. Let's look, let's look at the airstrike condition. Um, so they can airstrike in any one, um, spot only if they're not embargoed. They're not, um, that's the U S Alliance track. It's at the, uh, first part, but the, in order to move a base, they have to have all other gorillas, um, not there. Like they would have had to eliminate all the other gorillas. So even though there's a base here on the map, there are still gorillas here protecting that base, so they're not going to be able to do that. I think our troop up there is probably a likely target. Let's look, though, really quick. So, uh, to remove a base or close a casino, they cannot... Ooh, they could close a casino, I guess. Let's see. So, any province, remove an active gorilla or base, bases last, including closing a casino. Yeah, I guess they're going to close the casino then. Um, so they can do it in any space. It doesn't have to be one of the spaces that they were at before. Um... Yeah, one sec again. Sorry about that. I just had to double check the airstrike, um, the rules, because the the play the uh, flow charts here, it doesn't have the full rules text. So um, you have to sometimes check the rules. And so I'm sorry that it took a little extra time there. They're only going to close a casino if there's a player that is at their victory condition. Uh, so the syndicate is not at their victory condition right now. They only have three open casinos and they need like eight or, uh, yeah, eight. So they're not going to do that. Then they're going to remove a base, but we already said they can't because there's still pieces protecting, um, protecting there. And in order for you to airstrike, uh, where is it? Um, you, in order for you to airstrike a base, there can't be any other gorillas there for that player. So um, they're not going to close a casino. They're not going to remove my base. Then the next priority is going to be uh, gorillas where there are cubes, active gorillas where there are cubes. And the priority goes first 26th July, then uh, Directorio. So they are going to choose La Habana and get rid of our poor uh, piece there. Unfortunate. But say levy. So, um, yeah, so that was the government's special activity. So, back to the directorio. We were saying that they were going to rally, and they're going to rally in uh, basically as many spaces as they're able to. Um, there's no limit on resources for them, except uh, they have five resources, so I guess they can't re rally in more than five spaces. Um, so we said activate all DR gorillas or base. Uh, okay. Gorillas two underground in all spaces uh, with active DR gorillas, ADR base, and a cube. 
We said there's no, none such place that exists. Uh, they can place bases where there are at least three DR gorillas and room. Uh, room just means that there aren't already two bases in that spot. Um, there's no space on the board where they have three gorillas, though. So then we're going to place gorillas at DR bases. There's none. Uh, where there are gorillas, and then at one random spot. So they will rally. I see. Okay. Yeah. So they will rally first where there's bases, none, then where there are already gorillas. So they are going to rally in Havana. They place one cube here, and placed cubes always go underground. And then they're going to place down here in Camagüey as well. And then they are going to rally at one more random space. So uh, I, I should put the markers here to know that we did it here, here, and then one random space. The way we determine random space, if it's just between a couple of options, we roll a d6 here and then say like, you know, one, two, three is this, four, five, six is that. Um, but otherwise, we have this really cool uh, chart. Jeez, where is it? Okay, we have this really cool chart where we roll a yellow die and a green die, and then we kind of trace the, the path here. So we've got a yellow die and a green die. We'll just roll them really quick. Uh, the green is a five and the yellow is a six. So green's a five, yellow is a six. So they want to do it in Oriente, which is right there. And let's just make sure that that is a valid location for a rally. Neutral or passive. Oh, so they can't they can't actually rally here because uh, this is active. I think we had mentioned that before. So this doesn't happen. But this one is passive, so they did rally there. We put a put a guy there. Uh, and then one random spot. Oriente is passive as well, so we will place one there. So um, there's that. And those are the only two spots that we can place for them because we did the, at DR bases, we did that. Where there were gorillas, we did that, and one more random spot. So, um, great, that was their rally, and it cost them a resource per space. So they did it in two spots, so it goes, their resources go down to three. Then, continuing on, they want to do uh, a subvert so in a DR controlled province, there is only one such one of those, uh, and that's Camagüey. They want to subvert. If 26 July is at victory, remove the most opposition uh, possible, which 26 July is me and I'm not at victory. So otherwise, remove the most support. If neither applies at highest population. Um, so let's see what subvert does. And again, th this is going to go much faster as we go on. So, any DR control province, add the selective province's population value to the directorio's resource and set the space to neutral. So, um, there's only one that has control and it has a population of one. So, they are doing it at the highest population and... Um, there's only one spot that qualifies. Oh, hold on a second, though. When we added a guy there, we did um, get control of that, or DR did get control of that. And so now there are two uh, provinces with directorial control. And uh, the population of this is two. And the directorio cares about population. So their population that they control just went up by two. And on the track here, it's there. So let's move it up by two. And then uh, they want to do their subvert action at the place with the highest population because both of these are at opposition, not support. So um, right here, they are going to get two resources back uh, because subvert said add the population, and then set the space to neutral. So they are going to set the spot to neutral, which is a bummer, but they are going to get two resources out of the bag. So it's like their operation was free. 
so good for them. Um, and then second eligible is going to be Syndicate. And they're not going to pass because they have plenty of resources. So let's see if they want to do the event. Remember, the event is still up for grabs. And uh, so the Syndicate player looking for Guantanamo Bay. Don't see it here. So they are going to do the event. Oh, that's unfortunate because I think we were... Yeah, they they are going to do that. Okay, so they will do the event. It's a government momentous, momentum, so until... They're basically giving a special power to the government player. So the syndicate and government kind of work together. The syndicate is this corrupt uh, mob-like entity, and they like the government because the government's corrupt in this. So, um, you know, they, they want to kind of bribe the the police that are there to let them keep their shady casinos open. It's all very thematically interesting. Um, so they're giving a government a special power. And so airstrike from the government is, remember we did an airstrike before, um, it's going to remove two pieces and uh, it's allowed even if it were set to embargoed. So we're going to put this card up here um, just so we don't forget that the government has that ability until the next propaganda round. Um, and so they did the event there. These will go back to eligible. Uh, these two players um, or the bots will go to ineligible. And then we finished this card. We finished, yeah, that card. So uh, the next one is gonna be General Strike. And the one that comes up is gonna be Sinatra. So interesting. And I think because we're at 32 minutes here, I, I know we only have gone through two cards in 30 minutes. <laughs> I assure you it will go faster because the government likes to do events and, or sorry, the bots like to do events. Um, and so those are usually faster decisions than having them do ops and special abilities. And we will become form more familiar with this, so I won't have to keep pausing and looking up rules and stuff. But... Uh, yeah, that's the first two rounds of Cuba Libre, and up next is going to be the government. We're going to see if they're going to do a general strike or not. Uh, maybe they'll do something else, and the board state is kind of as follows. We, as uh, 26 July players, still have a stronghold down here in Sierra Maestra. We've got a vulnerable guy in Santiago de Cuba, and then we have this lonely base up here that we're going to want to rally in some extra help. Um, so that, that base doesn't get, you know, folded under. Um, anyway, thanks for watching and, uh, see you all next time.